indicator sounds are actually a very important thing in a car, right? So, I can't remember what I was in the other day and it was so shit. Oh, the Aston Martin DBX. I didn't like it. This one, I, it's quite sweet. It just doesn't match the car. But anyways, so some of you might not know about me, but I love all things America, okay? Besides the politics, like a dickhead like Trump or whatever. But like, so barring the politics, okay, I love the food. I think the people are always so friendly and so lovely. Um, I've been there many times. I've lived there. So I'm a huge fan, like, of the big ridiculous over-the-top stuff and so when it comes to something like the Jeep Gladiator I'm just all like oh my god it's so American it's like an American truck and I love it because I love it because it stands out it's got such a presence it's just all kinds of OTT and I'm here for all of it let me tell you I'm not cultured so you can like Europe and everything it's I'm this kind of gal you know Darn it. Oh, bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. So, this is like a novelty because you know I don't like Bucky's, right? But this, like, isn't one for me because it's just like, I don't know, 1.3 million Rand. It should be a novelty, let me tell you. And it's got like a 3.6 litre uh, V6 uh, naturally aspirated petrol engine. It's got 209 kilowatts of power and 347 newton meters of torque. Wow. Okay, I've got to always retain these numbers in my head, guys. Not good at it. Um, I mean, it's a spicy thing. You know, it's not exactly very fast, very quick, but it's not supposed to be. Do you know? Um, where it does sort of shine, obviously, is off road. You know, like ba this is based on a Wrangler. And then it's got like the wheel articulation, um, the ground clearance, all of that is really excellent. So you know that you can pretty much go anywhere in this guy. And I love it for sort of the on road appeal for me, which I don't usually love, is that I feel like I could drive over anybody. I'm just like this big, this like, mm, get out of my way, my. <laughs> you know, I sort of love that about it. But look, it's got a whole bunch of sort of off-road systems and features and gizmos and everything. So, so like the 4x4 setup um, boasts like two-wheel drive. It's got a permanent four-wheel drive. It's got part-time four-wheel drive. Um, you've got multiple locking diffs. Uh, you have just a lot of setups that, that, you know, make this very capable. But what I do like as well is that... You don't have to almost engage everything and all of it and whatever. This car kind of just does it all easily enough. Like, it's not just like this, you know what I mean? If you haven't even engaged anything. But anyways, yeah, let's do a U-turn in this bush, I think. Okay, we're ready. Did you write the book of love and do you have faith in God above? There are a few negatives, okay, obviously. So, it's very, very loud, okay? The noise, the wind noise and everything. And the reason for that is that everything can sort of, so the roof can be taken off, the doors can be taken off, the windscreen can come out, like, so you basically then in like a cabriolet bucky. Like if you can picture a Jeep Wrangler with all the doors of everything, that's what you're gonna have with this. You need people, two people to do it though. But I can't do it. I tried it. it. Like, this is easy enough and everything. I just think, like, I would just like someone else to help me. Or I'd like to sit back watching other people do it. I can see myself having this at, like, a holiday house um, that's near the beach or whatever. Pop a surfboard on the back. Even though it's surf, it just looks the part. A bit Californian. Um, as you can hear already, I'm not even going that fast. So I'm doing 65 k's an hour. There is a little bit of wind, but you can hear... Dude, that's irritating. So it would piss me off. That's why I'd like this parked at a holiday house. So I'd have to drive it there and back, okay? Oh, the other thing is fuel consumption. Good golly. Okay, we're sitting at 15.5 liters per 100 k's. Okay, uh, it is appalling, this fuel consumption. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried, I've tried to get it down. Some people I've seen have managed to get it down to sort of 13. 
but still that's Mursha in this day and age. The other thing is it's not actually very spacious and it's weird because this thing is so long. You have to really be careful like because it's longer than you think it is. But if Luke is in the seat, the, the passenger leg room is minimal. He kicks the back of this the whole time, which is really irritating. It's very upright in here. You know, so if you're sitting in the back there, um, I, I, it's just not particularly practical. The load bay is also only at like 693 kilograms, which is a bit strange as well. Um, I mean, I like the lock box thing that it's got at the moment on the back here because it, it folds. So like it's easy to get it out, which does make things a little bit easier if you're putting stuff in and you need to get them out. Again, you know how I feel about buckies and stuff. So grocery shopping is not a vibe. And the other thing is to put that car seat in to connect the tether thingy, the clippy thing at the back. Holy moly. Nope. All the nopes. So we're just living a bit dangerously at the moment. So I've only put Luke in this car once and I was down the road to school because I haven't, it's clipped into the isofix obviously, but I couldn't get that other thing because you've got to pull the seat down, but you can't pull the seat down because the chair's against it. It's so complicated. But anyways, if you had this car permanently, you'd figure that out, do it once and you'd be fine. Condition in a pickup truck, but I knew I this American pie drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. So I love the cabin because it's got so many buttons and I love a button. I hate a bloody touch screen. So it just looks all like cockpity and everything. So I think that like adds to its appeal. I mean, again, just over the top and ridic. I'd like a 360 degree camera. I would like front sensors. Um, it's a few little things that I think should have been added at, for the price that this car is. But it has some like cool things besides everything being able to come off. There's a Bluetooth speaker in the back behind like the seat or whatever that you can take out and like use this would have been my ideal car for when I was still going to festivals really not upset about the fact that that phase of my life is over but she whiskers if you'd had this pop your speaker up jump on the killer you would have been cool so cool I mean I don't know if I would have pulled it off but I would have tried so I would have loved that so like overall I'm so like in love with this car because of its insane presence and everything i think i would get it in black because i think it looks super mean it's wasted in maroon maroon is like a kakakta color my husband says it's not there's no such word as kakakta kak sure it's a kak color but i think kakakta sounds better even if it's not a word he said it sounds like then you're saying that it did shit like it did poop <laughs> <laughs> oh, South Africans will understand that. Anyway, so. See, just going past everyone. I don't care that I look like a big old doers. I'm like, ha ha, look at me. Oh, I'm really a bit of a dick in this car. I probably shouldn't have a car like this because it changes my personality. But I'm here for it. All the drama. I love these little thingies though it's got like a little a little mini jeep there like on the windscreen it's got like super cool little things all around there's like lock boxes under the seat um it's just it's for like the adventurer at heart which i'm not but i think i could be if i owned this car <laughs> hang it all boys for drinking whiskey and wine singing this will be the day that i die this will be the day that i die